we all know that we have different blood types, right? But why? Why are there different blood types? Everyone's heard of the A, B, A, B, and O blood types. When a person receives a transfusion, doctors must make sure the donor's blood and the recipient's blood are compatible. Otherwise, the recipient can die. But why? Why would we be made this way if you or I could die from an incompatible blood transfusion? There must be a purpose, but what is it? Well, let's find out. The type of blood actually refers to the presence of a particular type of antigen on the surface of erythrocytes, commonly known as red blood cells, which can react to an antigen on another blood type. An antigen is anything that elicits a response from an immune cell called an antibody. On this diagram I drew, this army of antigens is attacking this pathogen, which is a virus in this case. An army of antigens attack a virus. Because the human body makes antibodies that will attack certain types of red blood cell antigens, when receiving a blood transfusion, doctors must be careful to avoid any dangerous reactions. The purpose of having different blood types is thought to be related to immunity and fending off infectious illnesses. The incompatibility of some blood types, however, is just an evolutionary accident. In certain infectious diseases, bacteria and antigens, genetic makeup looks very similar, so the confused antibody cannot detect the difference between the forward random invader and the antigen, the body's own blood. The similar genetic makeup of the bacterium and the antigen can cause a reaction in the body known as rejection. However, this similar genetic makeup in certain antigens can actually be helpful for the body. For instance, people who have type A blood seem to be more susceptible to contracting smallpox, while those with type B blood seem more susceptible to being affected by E. coli. My theory behind this is certain antigens of certain blood types have a gene translocation, extra copy, or a different gene altogether, which can both lower and raise the risk of certain illnesses. Pretty interesting, huh? How such a little drop of blood has such a big purpose. This theory, believed by many scientists, proves both the existence of evolution and explains why we have different blood types.